Complimentary shaders. How do you download and install them in Minecraft? Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to get complimentary shaders, but look how beautiful this shader pack is. It's simplistic. It's, I don't know, it's just really, really, really good, and it honestly takes Minecraft to a truly new and completely different level. So let's go ahead and get it installed. First things first, you'll obviously want to download complimentary shaders. You can find it at the second link in the description down below, and that will take you here. This is the official complimentary shaders download page, where you can click on files and then find the version you want. As you can see, this supports 1.7.10 through 1.20.1. So most likely, you're going to want the most recent version. My guess is the most recent version will continue supporting new versions well into the future, probably 1.30 plus Minecraft. So Go ahead and download most likely this top version by clicking on the three dots and downloading the file. While this is downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server, where we have one-click mod pack installation. You can easily add mods, plugins, and if you have any issues along the way, we have live chat support and a high-quality help center to help you out. And by the way, you can also just host a vanilla server on Simple Game Hosting. Truthfully, the options are endless. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start a Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, complimentary shaders is now downloaded. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser, and we need to download Optifine. Optifine is how you're going to get shaders in Minecraft. Basically, it's the thing that links Minecraft to the shader pack, and uh, as you can see here, this is the third link in the description down below. When you go down there, you'll have this, which is our in-depth complete guide on getting Optifine. We're going to be going over the basics in this video, but if you want something more in-depth, or if you want something where you have issues and can find some different troubleshooting, you know, guides, if you will, that's all here in the article. This will also be up to date for future versions of Minecraft, so for whatever reason, if Optifine changes how it's installed and this video doesn't work anymore, this Optifine guide will work. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the Download Optifine button and go to the official Optifine download page. Should you not want the most recent version of Optifine, you can click Show All Versions and find all the versions of... Optifine here, and the installation process hasn't changed since at least 1.12, probably even before that though. Once you're here and have found the version you want, come under it and click the mirror link next to it. That will then take us off to the official download page for that version, where you can finally click the download button and Optifine will begin downloading. It's not uncommon to need to keep or save Optifine depending on your browser. As long as it's got Optifine in the title, which as you can see here, ours does, it's 100% safe to do that. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. Let's move both of these to our desktop. They're going to be in our downloads folder. As you can see, there's Optifine and there is complementary shaders. With these both on our desktop, we're going to start off with Optifine. Go ahead and right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. But I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java, then what you want to do is go to the description down below and download Java. Now, currently that's Java 17. In the future, it may be Java 20. It may be a different version. And if this updates, guess what? That means a new version is required. That's the version you should get. You may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together, but only run the jar fix after you've gotten Java. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up Optifine. So right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. Now before you install Optifine, make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed, as well as make sure you've played Minecraft for the version of Optifine you're installing. So if you're installing Minecraft 1.30 Optifine, you need to go play Minecraft with that version just no mods or anything, just open it to the main menu, close out of it, and then you're good to go. Now let's go ahead and click install, and Optifine will install, and say Optifine is successfully installed. That's all it needs to say to know it's worked, and then click OK. You can now delete Optifine, and we want to open up Minecraft using Optifine. So let's open up the Minecraft launcher, and then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we will be able to see our Optifine installation. Now, if you don't have an Optifine installation, or you don't have the correct version of Optifine, I will show you how to fix that, but generally, you will have an Optifine installation, and you can play that one. As you can see, if we click this drop down here, there it is. You could click play and click play again, but if you don't have Optifine here, click on installations, then make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if we deselect it there, Optifine disappears when it's selected, there it is. But let's go ahead and click new installation, assuming Optifine, and it's not the correct version of Optifine. If you wanted 1.28 Optifine, and it says 1.27 here, how do you fix that? Well, go into new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com, because again, that's the easiest way to start your very own Minecraft server. Then click the version drop down box here, and then click on the Optifine release here. So for me, that's release 1.20.1 Optifine. You may need to scroll down to find yours. It could be way, 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 way down here, but for me, it is right up here at the top. 
and then I'm going to change the resolution so we can see once we get in game and click create. Now you will have your new Optifine installation, in our case simplegamehosting.com, and then under that it will be the correct version of Optifine. Hover over it, click play in, click play again. That's the difficult part. The easy part is now getting shaders, right? So now that Optifine's installed, it's super easy to add complementary shaders as well as other shaders to Minecraft. So here we are in the Minecraft launcher. Go ahead and click on options, video settings, shaders. Again, that was from the main menu. Click options, video settings, shaders. Then in the bottom left, you'll have this shaders folder here. Click on that shaders folder button to open up your shader packs folder. Finally, drag and drop complementary shaders from your desktop into your shader packs folder. And then when you come back in game, there it is. Click on it to select it. Minecraft will then reload and the shader pack will be installed. Now, it is worth noting that in the bottom right, we have shader options. If you click on this, you can change a lot about basically any shaders pack, but specifically, this is complementary shaders options. There's tons of different stuff that you can change here. And like I said, I was running on ultra at the beginning. Let's actually start this off on a low quality, and then we'll go up to extreme just to see the difference between the two. So now we can obviously jump in game. We're going to jump on this simple game hosting server here. And then once we're in game, the shaders are active, right? That's all you need to do. And it's actually really cool because you can see this is the uh, low end shaders here and they actually look pretty good. And we're running at a decent FPS right now. 60 FPS or so is all you really need to play Minecraft and that's where we're at. But let's go ahead, turn this to extreme and see how things look. So if you go into options, video setting shaders, you can change to different shaders packs in game, but you can also change your shader options. So if we go up here to extreme, we will be able to go to done here and it's gonna reload Minecraft, and the extreme version is gonna be selected. There's a bit more shading here, but truthfully, I actually can't tell much of a difference. And uh, well, the performance is about the same on my computer, um, 53 FPS now versus 60 before. So truthfully, not a huge difference there. And there is a lot more tweaking you can do if you want even more, you know, better looks out of complimentary or more, you know, shading out of complimentary shaders, but you now have it installed. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give the old thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.